All right, this is going to be a follow-up video uh, from a, a video I posted on uh, April 21st. Uh, unidentified freshwater mussels slash clams found in the big land. And if you're new to the channel or or you've never seen this first video, I recommend you go back and watch this one first. And to make it easy, I'll have a I got a link in the description for this one. So after uh, you know I got these mussels and done a little research, I felt strongly that uh, these were. Uh, uh, different mussels than that was known to be here in Labrador uh, according to the government website and so uh, I sent around a few emails and the first one I got back was from uh, Ryan assistant professor at Guelph University and so he recommended uh, I take some more pictures you know and you wanted to see the, the beak area close up and so he got the pictures and sent them off to uh, DFO and some other people uh, some other contacts that he had and next I had a, a response back from DFO uh, because we don't manage the mussel species at DFO we do not have the expertise within our department to help identify these species however if you want to send me pictures and video I can reach you to my contacts at the Marine Institute to help you and so I sent out some pictures and DFO uh, sent them to uh, some contacts that they had and next I had a response back from uh, Green Institute, uh, DFO here in St. John's forwarded me your copy about freshwater mussels. Great pictures and videos. I work at the MI and reached out to some uh, contacts more familiar with freshwater species than myself. The species we believe is, you can read that there, the Eastern River Pearl Mussel. This common name, although we used to call them freshwater clams. But, but anyway, that's the response I had back. But I uh, still, I was a little bit skeptical, so I uh, I waited, wanted to get some more responses back. So before doing a follow-up video, I wanted to get some more responses back, and then I kind of got the response that I was uh, waiting for. <laughs> this is from John Mander. Uh, regarding your Labrador freshwater mussels, your instincts are excellent, and your careful analysis is excellent as well. I'm impressed. I've been actively researching Florida clams for quite a while, first as curator of national history at the Provincial Museum and now in my retirement. As such, I am for sure your best bet for obtaining a good identification. As you expected, your photos and your videos show examples of the Floater clam. Bingo! <laughs> yeah, a genie not widely known for Labrador. So far, I've recorded maybe four species of Floater clams from Labrador and maybe five species from the island. Uh, Maybe Garrett, uh, you know, your father found mussels very similar to these. This could be one of the one of the samples that he may be talking about. Unfortunately, as in the case with many floater clam samples, the particular diagnostic sculptural features of the umbral region, the pair of bulges on either side of the hinge of your Labrador samples are greatly deteriorated to the point of obliteration. Nonetheless, there are other subtle ways of identifying even deteriorated examples, but no guarantee in any given case. Uh, so, now John uh, wants me to get, like, uh, send him some info, like the exact location where I got them from and and different things like that and the type of bottom sediment and all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to get all that info back for, to him and these uh, samples I got here, this is the reason I collected these. I, I would have left them as in their place but I figured it best to get a few for an expert like John to uh, to be able to positively identify what they are. So uh, so I figured uh, I had enough good info that uh, I do a follow up video. And before I go, uh, I want to thank uh, Ryan University of Guelph, uh, Henry DFO, uh, Susan Marine from the Marine Institute, and John. Uh, you know I had a lot of great info come back from from uh, everyone and I uh, really appreciate all the help in this and, uh, and I'm going to do my best uh, to help as well. I guess you could positively say now that we got two types of freshwater mussels here in Labrador and uh, I'll tell you right now when I'm out and about I'll be keeping my eye out a little more for for these mussels and uh, see if we find some more different locations or whatever and gosh who knows we might even find another different species again so Anyway guys, uh, just a quick follow up video, uh, I figured I had enough good video for it now and uh, I, I don't want to make it too long, so uh, I guess that's it for this one though, really appreciate y'all watching, take care, all the best from the big land.